What's going on everybody? We got a box of fish. You guys know the drill. Let's go. All right guys, it is time to get the fish out of the box. I already opened it. This is from Aqua Locker. They used to be Fishy Business Aquatics. This shipment came out of California. So let's go ahead and open that up. Heat packs, we all know the drill. So I'm gonna do that so that we can pull all this stuff out. So we got two fish and two things that are gonna go into the show tank. So let's go ahead and pull out the first fish. Here it is, an absolute beautiful fish. I'm sure you guys can tell what it is, but time to get that guy into the tank. This one is in a massive bag, which is okay. An absolute stunner, jewel, beautiful fish. Wait till you guys see this thing. Gonna turn the lights out. Then we got these guys, four of them. And one tiny little cute guy right here. <laughs> I know you guys can't see them yet, but you will shortly. All right, these ones are ready to go. I'm going to do drip on these ones. Let's open them up. Got our scissors here. So the first one is this little guy. I mean, he is tiny, guys. Tiny. Blue banded coral shrimp. This thing is going to be epic in the tank. Hope he's going to be all right with the bigger ones. And then these. Are going to be awesome. These are tiger sand conch. What I did here was I just made a makeshift dripper with one of these emitters here. There we go and adjust it accordingly. You guys could see the drip going on. I'm actually gonna turn it down a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There we go, that's at a good pace. Now we just let these guys drip acclimate for quite some time and then they'll go into the tank. Here's a better look guys so you could see Look at the drip rate, nice and slow. There you go, got that drip rate. So we got these four guys in here. That's their eyeballs. <laughs> and then that little dude. All right, it's time to get the two fish out into the buckets to start getting used to the salinity. I don't know if you guys heard that, but those were my knees. Fish number one, used to the temperature. This guy's gonna go in this one. Gotta really be careful with this one. See, he's already jumping. Just gonna, I wonder if I should just leave it in the bag like that. The first fish here. I'm sure you guys could see what that is. We're gonna go over it a little bit more later. Oh yeah. Probably should have left it in the bag, but it's okay. I got this lid here. I'm gonna just let it sit on top. Here's taking a look at these guys. They are doing well. Been acclimating for over 45 minutes. All right, so one of these fish that we got here, I want it to get ready to go to the sand first. So we're gonna pull some of this stuff out in hopes that it goes to the sand. All right, you guys, it's time to rescape the 40 gallon quarantine tank for the saltwater fish. What I wanted to do was get things set to allow these fish to have the highest rate of success. So we're moving all kinds of things around in here. So I got these out for now. My goal is I'm hoping that the fish we go put in here is gonna go underneath this ledge and set itself up here to be comfortable in QT. Here we go. This fish is a big time jumper. So we gotta be strategic about this. There we go, see? So the fish we got here is a blue spotted jawfish. Let's get it inside the tank. 
I want it to go to the sand. Come on, dude. Go into the sand. Beautiful, beautiful yellow tang. Absolutely beautiful. There it is, the yellow tang. Beautiful fish. Wow. Once it settles in, it's going to be epic. And then we got the blue spotted jawfish down there. All right, take a look at the blue spotted jawfish, guys. Wow. We're here at the sump. What we're doing is using a brand new toothbrush and scrubbing the shells of the sand tiger conch, putting them into the bucket on the left right there with fresh water from the tank to help rinse them off. And the blue banded coral shrimp is gonna go directly into the refugium. It's too small and I'm worried that it going into the display is gonna cause problems uh, as far as fish eating it or the other shrimp going after it. So we're looking at the shells of the sand tiger conch, inspecting them, dipping them, just making sure nothing is on them. That's very important. All right, guys, they are ready to go. Bam. Okay, now that red chorus wrasse is looking at it right away. That we don't like. You see that right there? That is not a good thing. Okay, we're gonna throw a little bit of food in here right now to distract these guys because that is what we need to do. Got a little bit of issue going on with algae, so don't mind that. There's the, uh, <laughs> the fire shrimp, super awesome fish. But now that we got the pellets going in here, the fish are distracted. So I'm hoping that it's gonna allow the tiger coonches to flip around and do their thing. In this clip, what I wanted to do was speed it up so you guys can see the sand tiger conch moving around because they slowly move around as they settled into the tank. So I wanted to try to get you guys to see what they look like when they're doing that. Now, let's get some up close epic footage of these guys. Look at these conch, the tiger sand conch. Look at it trying to eat the algae off of the tank with that little mouth deal. Kind of looks like an elephant trunk. Very interesting. You can see the eyeballs. These things are so different, so unique, and very interesting to watch. They really look like aliens. Imagine if our eyes stuck out that much. But you could definitely see where they get the name Tiger because they got that stripe on their shell. Look at this guy right here using his mouth to go through things in the sand. Just incredible. Now, as you can see, there is a nice bright shine on the glass from the light on my phone because the tank lights were out. And this was the best way to get the most uh, clear footage of these guys was to brighten it up with a nice white light look at that guy he got all scared just now i don't know about you guys but i was absolutely fascinated what do you guys think about these guys in the comments please comment i would love to read it now we are looking at the yellow tang as it has settled in going and looking at some of the sea veggies just swimming around, doing its thing. Again, you just can't go wrong having a yellow tang in a reef tank. This guy is nice and bright. Not huge, which is perfect because I don't want to have a big one. I want the tang to be small. Just awesome. Love tangs. Super cool fish. Love seeing it go after the sea veggies. Now, as you can see, I moved the tray of sand so that it was butted up against the corners of the aquarium because I did not want this fish to hide behind the tray. So what we're doing is we're looking at footage of the blue spotted jawfish, one of the most unique, awesome looking fish I've ever seen. The character, 
is incredible. As you can see, this guy is just going around underneath the rock and spitting sand out. I had set this on the top of the sand and you can see how much sand this jawfish has moved around to make its home. Now you can see it popping out and going after some of the brine shrimp that we put inside of the aquarium for it to eat. Look at that, just beautiful. The blue spots are stunning and the character, just watch the character of this fish. You'll see it sticking its head out and then it'll turn and look one way. Just watch it right now there. Look at it going out for some food, popping back in. See it just looking around right here. Here we go. Just looking at the back and get some food. Look in the back, still look in the back. Eventually it turns and it's like, hey, what's going on over here? Just can't get enough of how beautiful it is. Look, ready, and you're gonna see it right now, I believe. Looking at the back, probably through its peripherals as well. Just chilling, relaxing, seeing what's going on, and turn. <laughs> I am loving the four tiger sand conch that I got. They're super cool, super unique looking, and very different, uh, super awesome. And then obviously the blue spotted jawfish and the yellow tang, awesome fish, just love it. Um, the tiger conches are gonna do some awesome stuff as far as keeping the sand clean like we mentioned and all of that kind of stuff. And then uh, the blue spotted jawfish, once it goes through quarantine and goes into the tank, I'm hoping it'll settle somewhere in the front so that I can see it every day. Uh, and then obviously the yellow tang is going to look awesome. You can't have a reef tank without a yellow tang. So uh, super excited about that. If you guys like the video, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. And uh, if you could comment down below what you guys think, that'd be great. If you could like, share, just all that good stuff, it would be absolutely epic. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for watching. The tank is taking shape. We're getting super close to getting the corals in here. I know I've been saying that for how long, but we are. We are getting close to that happening. Um, I'm just taking my time, deciding if I want to keep the scape like this or if I want to change it again. A little bit different, a, something to just change it up a bit. I don't know if I want to do that or not, so I'm contemplating and I don't want to do that if I got coral in here already. So part of taking the time and all that good stuff. So again, thanks for watching. Please comment, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Stay tanked.